G.I. Joe, reporting for duty, sir. Since the beginning of time, children have always played soldier. With wooden swords, broomstick rifles, with cast lead soldiers, with plastic miniatures. But none of these had the ring of authenticity. None of these gave a boy the feeling that he was playing real soldier. Give a boy an army field manual, and his fanciful imagination will carve reality out of thin air. To make a boy's dream come true, Hasbro is proud to present G.I. Joe, America's movable fighting man. The most realistic soldier anyone has ever seen. Imagine, G.I. Joe stands almost a foot tall. A soldier big enough to really play with. But look, G.I. Joe doesn't just stand. He kneels. He lifts his arms to fire a rifle. He can charge, or he can sit down and rest. He can throw a grenade or crouch in a foxhole. He can perform every action of a soldier, because Hasbro's G.I. Joe has 21 movable parts. His head turns, his arms move, he bends his elbow, his wrists move. He can turn from left to right. He can move his legs, he can bend his knees, he can even turn his feet. 21 movable parts. G.I. Joe brings a new kind of action realism to plain soldier. Look at his face. Not just an artist's fancy. This is the face of G.I. Joe. Carefully designed from composite photographs of 20 Medal of Honor winners. What about his uniforms? They're just uniforms. Just the regulation uniforms. Just the authentic uniforms that the Quartermaster Corps designs for the real-life G.I. Joe. Fatigue uniforms, battle dress, MP uniforms. Whatever the action, the real uniform. But wait, we're getting ahead of our story. Take a look at G.I. Joe's battle gear. A new kind of action realism in plain soldier. All of his gear, from canteen and mess kit to 30 caliber machine gun. From entrenching tools and field pack to communication equipment is all regulation gear. Designed from official Army and Navy blueprints. And each piece of gear scaled to size so that it fits. The canteen cover fits over the canteen. The canteen clips onto the cartridge belt. And the cartridge belt fits over the uniform. This is G.I. Joe, Action Soldier. Here is the basic package, and an exciting package it is with beautiful four-color action illustrations. But Hasbro gives to the boys of America more than just a sensational new kind of soldier. Hasbro introduces a whole new concept in playing soldier. To go with G.I. Joe action soldier, there is box after box of regulation military gear, different kinds of uniforms, all sorts of battle equipment. Authentic G.I. Joe material with everything from combat to bivouac. From MP to command post. Helmets, rifles, tents, flags, sandbags, machine guns. Everything carefully reproduced down to the last detail. But this is just the beginning. In this giant new concept, Hasbro brings to the youth of America not only G.I. Joe Action Soldier, but also G.I. Joe Action Marine, G.I. Joe Action Sailor, and G.I. Joe Action Pilot. Four G.I. Joes, four different services. This is G.I. Joe Action Marine, uniformed in camouflage fatigues with all sorts of exciting marine equipment. Here is everything from paratrooper to communications, from dress parade to beachhead assault. Parachute packs, carbines, flamethrowers, camouflage communication gear, helmets, and flags. G.I. Joe Action Marine brings a new kind of action realism to plain soldier. To go with G.I. Joe Action Sailor, there are these exciting Navy packages. Equipment for sea rescue, for frogman, for Navy attack, 
and U.S. Navy Shore Patrol. Children will be fascinated by the detail in the regulation equipment. Life preservers, scuba suits, scuba tanks, swim fins, complete shore patrol gear. G.I. Joe Action Sailor brings a new kind of action realism to playing soldier. To go with G.I. Joe Action Pilot, there are thrilling sets of Air Force equipment. Everything from scramble to survival. And of course, dress uniforms. High altitude helmets, flight suits, pad and clipboard, air vests, flare guns. All the gear necessary so that G.I. Joe Action Pilot can bring a new kind of action realism to plain soldier. G.I. Joe, a concept so big it requires dozens of different packages, ranging in retail price from $1 to $5. Fascinating sets of equipment so that the boys of America will be able to play with G.I. Joe. And each package has an authentic field manual, shows all the equipment a boy can get. And each G.I. Joe has his own G.I. dog tag. Thousands of boys will start with one service, but other thousands will start with two G.I. Joes, and even all four. Market research tests show that boys who have played with G.I. Joe want all four. And with a full range of authentic equipment, the four-way G.I. Joe line builds into the greatest open-end merchandising program the boys' market has had since the introduction of the electric train. G.I. Joe cannot live his service life and fight his playroom battles without the full range of equipment which is built into all four categories and sold in beautiful and dramatic packages. And to promote this revolutionary concept, Hasbro will use the most strategic advertising campaign ever put behind a toy. A campaign plan not only to reach every boy in America, but every adult. Plans call for giant advertising and mammoth publicity. Advertising strategy that will use television as though this were truly a battle for the consumer's dollar. On the right flank, G.I. Joe on network television. On the left flank, G.I. Joe on spot television in your market. And right up the center, a G.I. Joe print campaign in comics, in newspapers, in magazines. Total advertising strategy, exciting television commercials, startling and dramatic print ads. A publicity campaign with stories already projected and in work for America's leading magazines. An advertising strategy conceived and dedicated to but one purpose. To make every boy and every parent a part of the big parade to toy stores everywhere. To see and to buy G.I. Joe, America's movable fighting man. Hut, two, three, four, hut. Two, three, four. On the land. On the sea. And in the air. He's here in the wonderful world of toys, and Hasbro's got him. G.I. Joe!